What's up, fam? It's your boy Black Cat. Your Black Cat. You know the short video. This video is gonna be about Muslims and Christians. They have so much things in common, but are so separated. And sometimes I wonder why, you know, why they're so separated. We have so much things in common, you know. I said, far as Islam and Christianity, they believe that God is the Father. Muslim Christians they worship one God and believe that all children are from Him. So. What's the big beef? What's the big gripe about, you know? The prophets, they both believe in prophets. Both religions, they believe in early prophets as Noah, Abraham, Moses, David, Joseph, John the Baptist, and even Jesus, peace be upon him. So they, they all believe in these, um, these prophets. What's the problem? The only thing about that is um, the Christians do not believe in the prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Peace be upon him. You know, that's only the only difference between the prophets. But all the prophets, they both believe them. The same thing, you know. Christians that are familiar with the Bible, but Muslims also believe the Bible to be holy scriptures too. So the Muslims believe in the Bible. As long as the, that you know, the Bible is not, um, how you say, it, tainted and translated correctly. Because Muslims believe that their Quran has not been tainted has not been um, altered as the original words from since Gabriel told to the Prophet Muhammad and nothing been changed. So that's that's the only thing there too. And also commandments, you know. People of both faiths, they believe in similar rules by, by God. You know, but as far as obeying God, you no, know, being good to mankind, keeping good relations with God. So, what's the problem? You know, it's the same really thing. You know, about Mary. For Jesus' mother. Jesus' name is um, Isa. But, um, okay, both Muslims and most Christians believe Mary was a virgin and that Jesus was born miraculously. So, they try to say that um, Mary was a virgin and or some, somehow had a baby. But, and one thing in that in that note there, Muslims do not believe that Jesus is God's son. Because they're saying that's begotten. That's um that's forbidden. If I if I'm trying to explain to you correctly, so understand what I'm to say, that's forbidden. They're trying to say that God had had sex and made a kid. You know, so they're saying that Jesus is begotten. So they don't believe in that deal. That's one one difference that they have for the um the Virgin Mary. But if you also look in um, the Quran, she has her own chapter, Miriam. She has her own chapter in there. And a lot of Christians do not know that the Virgin Mary has her own chapter in the Quran. But she doesn't have a chapter in the Bible. So she's more praised and more talked about in the Quran. Hmm, that's one thing a lot of people don't know about. You know, the Messiah miracles. Is on Christianity. They both ascribe that Jesus Christ was pronounced the Messiah and did perform miracles. So they both believe Jesus, you know, may turn something water to wine and they, he he did miracles out there. So they believe the same thing. But like I said before, they call Jesus Isa in Muslim, in Islam rather. As far as for Satan, Muslim Christians, they believe that Satan is real. And they try to make people follow him instead of God. But only thing in, in Islam, they call him Shaitan. In um, Christianity, whatever around the world, they call him Satan. Okay. Now, also think about the return. The two faiths also believe Jesus will, will return from heaven. So the Muslims do believe Jesus is going to come back and somehow free us, and there's going to be some be a big war. And I think the. Um, the sea is supposed to be locked. What's going to happen? Someone by Syria. Is that supposed to be the end? The end war of, of the Antichrist. Okay. Now, for the Antichrist, they believe there will be an Antichrist who appears before the end of the world, and that Jesus will return and conquer him. It's common to both theologies. So they both believe that there's going to be a war, and Jesus is going to come back. East is going to come back. So if y'all believe in the same thing. Most of almost the same thing. What's the problem? You know what I'm saying? What's the problem? You no, know, and for judgment. 
both religions, they believe a dead judgment, really what happened, and people will be judged for the lives they lead on earth. So the things that you do on earth, they both believe you will be judged. If you do good, you'll go to paradise, jana in Islam. You know, if you, you do bad, you'll go down. You'll see Satan or Shaitan. You're supposed to burn for eternity. You know, so they both believe in there. For covenants, Muslims and some Christians believe God connects with people through covenants. So, they, what, what's, what's the big thing? Everything's almost the same, really. You know, for us, family. Family is a foundational part of both Christian and Muslim life. Both people believe the family has a critical impact on society. That means you're supposed to take care of your family. Your family is very important. You know, your wife is important. You're supposed to cherish your wife, cherish your kids, cherish your elders, you know, or treat your elders good. So, in both religions, it's forbidden for the children to treat their parents bad in any type of way. So, you know, if you believe in the same thing like that, what's the problem? You know, like, even the codes of health. Muslims and some Christians have codes of health, such as not drinking alcohol or not eating certain foods. These codes of health are part of the, co the covenants made with God. You know, Islam, it's forbidden to eat pork. It's haram, it's forbidden to eat pork, right? But a lot of Muslims, not Christians, excuse me, they will always look at the Muslims and say, but pork this and pork that, pork this, they should do that. When Christians are not supposed to eat pork either. So therefore, you see a Christian eating them, them got bacon in the morning, feeding their kids pork, they are sinning. They, not, they know they're not supposed to do that. Now, I learned that from this dude, um, Joe Osteen. He's um, some, I think a, a pastor, somebody on church, I, he said that. I was like, that's the first time I knew that Christians are not supposed to eat pork either, but they still do, so they're sinning. They can't just always look at Muslims and talk about pork when it's written inside the, um, the Bible many times, a couple, a couple verses where they should not eat pork. So don't try to put on Muslims. They, they, they need to clean themselves up, the Christians. For as clothing, you know, Muslim women, they dress similar to um, like Christian women. Like Muslim and some Christians, they mean with sacred clothes that signs of covenant made with God. When they say covenants made with God, meaning they cover yourself, you know, head wrap and cover your hand, your arms. Some some like Saudi Arabia will cover their hands also and things like that, or cover their eyes and things up up, up to the eyes, so you can't see them. They do that. Most of Islam know is from temptation, so a man can't be looking and staring and lusting. So that's what they do. But a lot of um, you see the same wear. Is the nuns wear same? Is the same clothing that you'll see a Muslim woman wear, and you almost look about when they um prayer time, the rosaries. Catholic people they have rosaries. Islam people, Muslims have rosaries too. They count as most it's like thirty three beads or nine nine beads. You know the same thing. It's very similar. You know, it's like so. What's the problem? You know what I'm saying? What's the problem when when things are so similar? It's real things are so similar, it's almost the same really sometimes, but very very few things that are not practiced. Like far as the Christians do not believe in Muhammad. You know, it's like an Islamic world, a Muslim man can marry a Christian woman or someone a woman who has a faith. But a Muslim woman cannot marry for example a Christian. Because it could be the, house, the head of the household must be Muslim. You know, there's all very similar things. So, like I say, what's the problem? What's the, the big fight around the damn world about things? You know, if you look at Falls, it will get more deep into the things like the Virgin Mary. If you do your research, the last name was called Imram. Okay, her father is Nabi, Nabi Imram. And Nabi Imram, he's buried in Oman. That's um Islamic country, close next next door to Yemen, okay, in Salala. And I, I was there. I seen it because I lived in Salala for about one year, and I seen the um it's like a, a real long, how you say it, like, like a long casket. Do you check it out? Just type in Nabi Imram Salala Oman, and you will see what I'm talking about, okay. Also, I can't forget there. 
You got the um the prophet um what do you call him? In the Bible they call him um Job Job J O B. In Islam they call him Ayub. Ayub also has a was buried in the mountains of Salala. So these people are in, in Islamic lands. They're not in no Roman Christian places. So hey. What's the problem? I just want to um, show things, the similarities of Christianity and, and Islam, the, the Muslims and Christians. There's a similarity, you know, because we all want the same thing in life, food, clothes, and shelter. You no, know, so there should be no kind of difference for what, what, what religion you in or you hating somebody. You, you always have your religions, but don't say my religion is, is so good that I don't like this person because we all believe in one God, you know. That most religions do. They believe in one God. If you don't believe in... God, then, hey, that's you. But most religions here on this earth believe in one God, you know, and Jesus is going to come back and save us. And that's all I got to say, you know. Like, dislike, put your comments down. We can build on it because I can get a little deep. I'm, just, I'm trying to break it down in layman's terms so everybody can understand what Black Cat is talking about. Have a good night, and I'm out. Peace.